Hi, my name's Richard Rex. Uh, I'm a member of the Arben Forestry team. Well, very welcome to Sparshot College. I'm here today to give you a bit of a show round of the Arb Forestry Department and our facilities. These are our buildings, so this is where all the uh, teaching staff live upstairs along this nice old flint building. And, uh, and if you want to follow us in, I'll just show you one of the workshops. So not massively exciting, but um, largely benches and, and vices. This is where we do all of our maintenance of our tools. So uh, generally on a practical day, uh, you'll be in teams of about 10. Um, one of you will be um, allocated as the full person for the day, and that person's gonna be responsible to do the site-specific risk assessment, and also to make sure all the tools and equipment are in good working order, and that we've got them logged so that we don't lose anything when we're out on site. Then we'd be coming in here, and let's say, for instance, you're using chainsaws, we'll be using the vices to clamp the chainsaws to get them sharpened. Um, once we've Got, got everything ready to go, we'll load up into a minibus and we'll be off, off on site um, to carry out our work. There's some other little bits of kit in here. We've got a stump grinder, this is all our own stuff. Um, so that's something else that you'll get to use. And also a brushwood chipper. Um, next door, we've got another workshop. Um, and similar to here, benches, vices, but also in there we've got a range of brush cutters, strimmers, clearing saws, um, blowers, um, Hedge, hedge trimmers, um, that kind of that kind of stuff. All equipment that you get to have a go on. Uh, that's about it in here. So we'll head next door. So this is the Arb store um, where all the climbing equipment's kept. We, uh, similar to next door, there'll be a member of the team that will be allocated uh, the role of four person for the day, and they're responsible for signing out the equipment to the to uh, individual students, who then take responsibility for that kit for the day. You can see along here, there's a whole range of different pretty colours. Uh, so we've got a good, uh, a good range of different harnesses and ropes. The idea being is that you can try before you buy, essentially. It's all here for you to use. There's nothing wrong with you using your own, but I would certainly recommend that you wear out our kit whilst at college rather than, uh, rather than wearing out your own. So you get to select the kit for the day, and, uh, and then again, we're off on a site to, uh, to practise those climbing techniques. Essentially starting to learn to climb, moving on to learn how to perform aerial rescue should uh, one of your colleagues ever um, need your assistance, touch wood they never will. Moving round, uh, we've got a range of different um, ancillary devices to help us with climbing and also pruning saws. So once we've done the climbing and aerial rescue, we move on to using hand saws to prune trees um, and that will then prepare you to, to use the chainsaws later on. Um, this is our rigging equipment, so when we have to lower timber out of a tree, a uh, big box of metal goodies that you get to play with. Um, these are our climbing irons or spikes, so uh, when we climb a tree that has no branches or we're dismantling a tree, we strap these to our legs and, uh, and, the, and the spike goes into the, into the timber. Um, we do have a small range of, of helmets that you can use. Um, I would recommend, if you can afford it, to get your own so that you don't have to share head sweat with uh, other students, but we have got them should you need them. Which, whilst we're talking about PPE, uh, personal protective equipment, um, you will need, on level two and level three courses, because of the chainsaw use, you'll need to have um, chainsaw trousers, chainsaw boots, and chainsaw gloves when you start the course. Level one PPE, um, you just need work boots and work gloves. And that's it in here. So we'll head off now. And I think uh, we're gonna head down to the driving plot and the woodyard. Okay, so now we're down at the uh, crosscut bays. So um, these areas here are where you will very first use a chainsaw, start it and start cross cutting or logging pieces of timber. So they're spaced apart so that we would have one uh, student working in a bay and then a space and then one student working in a bay so it's a nice controlled safe environment. Um, we've got some equipment down here like this that, that holds the log to replicate tension and compression in timber um, so that when we're out in the woods we can we can um, get used to how the timber lays over banks and ditches etc. Um, the timber that we use is all stacked up over here so this is this is wood that has been felled by our students and then processed on site and then extracted by our students as well and brought back to college 
uh, ready to uh, ready to train the guys that are learning to use the chainsaw. Um, most of our timber we um, get from either private estates or forestry commission and we buy it standing um, and the, the stuff that we bring back to college we would then process and um, log it and put it into these crates and then we sell those crates to recoup the money for the money that we paid for the timber standing. So it's a little business within itself really. And then if we wander down this way, you see we've got some, um, some different bits of equipment here. So this is one of our extraction units. So on the back of there is a, is a grab and a, and a trailer to load timber onto in the woodland. Um, just behind you, there's some other pieces of, of equipment. So this, is, this yellow piece is a, is a um, peeler. So that strips the bark off of um, pieces of wood to make fence posts. Uh, that's a tractor mounted winch over there on the left. And we've also got some hydro tongs. That's from, for dragging trees around in the woods. And, uh, and a pointer as well to make fence posts. Um, over here we've got some uh, wood chip, so when we're training on the brushwood chipper it goes into there and then we can, we can sell that as a, as a byproduct, um, sell it to different departments in the college or anyone that wants to, wants to um, use it. Um, these are some of the fence posts that we've been making. And that's about it for here. There's just some overspill crosscut bays in here for when we've got um, high numbers of students working down here. Hydraulic log splitter. So this goes on the back of a tractor so that we can uh, we can split timber. And um, this is this is our band saw. So this is a Forester 900 band band saw. It used to be a mobile saw, but we've had it fitted permanently. I think we're one of three colleges in the country to, um, to have a permanent saw. So most students, most of our students in the department will get a go at, at, um, at processing the timber that's, that's brought back from the wood. Most of that timber, we're a bit empty at the moment, but it gets stacked over here. So higher grade softwood, um, conifer, and, and also higher grade hardwood, the deciduous stuff, oak and ash, that kind of stuff over on the right. Um, and then we can, we can cut that to order we only ever cut it to order so we cut it for people so that there's nothing going to waste and then um, and then the students can then produce things like like benches and you see over here the picnic bench in the in the offing at the moment um, someone would have ordered that for a purpose uh, this is the pride of the fleet this is our our old old tractor for uh, moving around log crates and also we use the forks to load up the bed onto the onto the bandsaw uh, we've also got some pillar saws, we've got um, a crosscut pullover saw at the back there, a thickness of planer, some ripping saws, we've got mortisers, nail guns and all manner of tools to be able to create, create pretty much anything um, from, from the picnic benches to, to feather edge um, uh, fence panels. So I think that's about it in here. We're just going to have a quick look at the tractor plot. And here's the, uh, here's the tractor, so this is the crane unit that, um, that operates and, and will come over, pick up timber from the floor and then load it up in, into the, uh, the holding tray um, and then drive off out of the woods uh, and either bring it straight back to college or if we're further away it will get loaded up ride side and, uh, and someone can then come along and collect it on a, on a big lorry. And this is the tractor driving plot. So um, most of our, our students, Arden Forestry students, get a go on the, on the tractor driving. Uh, we've got a really wide range of different tractors, new and old, different colours, different makes, different models. Uh, so again, students get that variety of, of using different equipment. And on here, we've got a range of equipment around the edges that they can uh, hitch up and um, practice getting used to reversing onto trailers and, and hitching up free point linkage equipment, um, reversing with trailers, driving in general, that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, one bit I didn't mention just a minute ago was we have got a log processor as well, a firewood processor, where you put the cordwood in, a big log in, and it, it cuts it to, um, to length and splits it as well. And then the, 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 the firewood logs go on a conveyor belt and get loaded up into, into one of the crates. 
so that's um, that's fairly new. Um, we've only had it six months or so. So um, yeah, that's a, an exciting bit of kit. So this is uh, another of the resources that we use. As you can see, there's uh, some quite pretty looking trees through here. Um, they're all labelled up, so um, it's a good, great resource for, for um, learning tree names um, because you can come and look at the identifying features of a tree and then, and then check your knowledge against the, the label that's on the tree. Um, we'll have a wander over here as well. I'll show you a couple of other trees that we sometimes use for practicals. So again, continue with, uh, with, a, with a wide range of different tree species. Um, these trees behind you, um, we will use usually when you first start to learn to climb because they're, um, they're quite good sized trees and uh, reason, reasonably easy to climb. So uh, you'll, you'll get to go on those if you choose one of the climbing, climbing routes. Um, with regards to tree identification, we've also got a small pinetum that we use um, to help you learn your trees and also an arboretum, uh, which is the arboretum's collection of, of trees, essentially. A pine eatum is a collection of conifers, um, pines, cedars, that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that probably concludes your tour, so I hope you've enjoyed it and, uh, and we look forward to seeing you.